Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 42 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In our previous video, we have fetched all the data of the courses on the home page. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to work on the detail page. Okay. We have also worked on our all courses page and we have also worked on our home page. Now we are going, let's uh, uh, work on the detail page. So this is our detail page and in this we have lots of things to do. So the first part is we need to fetch this part okay and we need to calculate the uh, duration total and load this total and load uh, will come later because uh, because we have to enroll the students okay and uh, this is this is also the page so that this is link and we have course detail and uh, course title detail and image and these are the chapters okay so i hope you remember the chapters we have added in when we are creating the teacher dashboard and these are the related related courses so we will fetch the related courses whatever this category uh, whatever the course of the category we will fetch the same courses according to this category okay so maybe we will uh, divide this uh, detailed video in two or three parts okay so let's start and uh, try to uh, try to do the to try to do this part and also i will try to do, fetch all the data of the course chapters okay so we will see that how we can implement the relationship in the uh, rest framework epi and how we will uh, fetch the data and uh, uh, implement uh, render our data in react js okay so let's start to do, th do this so first thing what we will do this is our detail and uh, in the course detail we have uh, this course id we are fetching the course id okay so uh, let's fetch all the data of this course okay and we have already created the url for that so if i'll go to this course and this is the course detail view so we will uh, see this url okay let's uh, go to the api and i'll show you that how we can send this so api course and else i'll say one it will show the detail of one okay and i have also configured maybe uh, in a, a in in our previous video we had didn't configure that i'm using the only uh where it is uh, course detail view all i'm using only retrieve api so that we just need the we just need to fetch the data uh, previously i was using this kind of thing okay now we just need to fetch the data so we just uh, need to, uh, we will implement this retrieve api okay now <clears throat> with the help of this uh, course detail we also want to fetch the teacher detail and we also want to fetch the related courses like here we need the course we need the teacher and we need the related videos so how we can do that okay so first of all let's see we will go to the serializer here we have a serializer in the serializer i will define in the serializer this is a course serializer so we are using the serializer right i will define depth one so depth one means it will fetch all the data in this current relation it will level one relation so if i'll refresh this page then it will define the uh the category okay directly uh if i'll let's open the model if i'll open the model course where is the course yeah here you can see that okay so this is uh, depth one if this category suppose this category is also related to some relation then we can define two depth two then this will also fetch the category and its relationship okay now but we have only restrict with the depth one so that it is fetching the category related data and the teacher related data right now <clears throat> we also need fetch all the courses related to this uh, all the chapters related to this course so in the course model sorry in the chapter model i have here defined the related name course chapters okay so what i will do here you can see that i have defined the course model relationship and i have defined related name course chapter and in the serializer what i have do what i will do in the course serializer i will define course chapters okay now i'll refresh this page here you can see that this will this will return a list 
in this list all the chapter will come okay now we have full flesh data of this uh, course title related to teacher related to chapter okay now we can show this data okay we will also fetch the related data but that is a different thing okay we will see that how we can do that okay so let's implement this thing in our uh, in our react uh, front end okay so we have all the data now i'll open the course detail okay we are already fetching the data so i will uh, copy some things from our uh, course chapter or maybe from else so here we have a uh, use parent x use so i will use this course detail here we are we don't need the suite alert x use and this is the api what else we need use params we are using already we need use state and use effect right okay now here what i will do use effect it means whenever the page load whenever the page load okay we need to define the constants i mean states so this is the chapter data course data okay let's copy this and paste it here i'll define this course id later so this is the course data let's say copy this two times because we need the chapter data as well as course data so i will say course data and this is set course data and this is set chapter data okay and use state right now uh, in the use state in the use effect sorry in the use effect what i will do here it means whenever the page load i will say fetch data course the course is here right this is course id and i'll pass it here okay now set course data right here we are okay so now let's see uh, we can see in our uh, network tab i'll open the network tab here and let's see that what we have and uh, okay so here we are <coughs> so can you see that course 9 here you can see that okay response so we have this course and all the data is here okay so in this course we don't have any chapter okay so that it is showing the empty list okay now we have set uh, course data so i will put here course data is title dot title and here it will be description let's see what its name in the model uh, description right so course data dot course data dot description right and course by course by okay now we need this course by this teacher okay so let's say this teacher dot course data this teacher dot full name let's see if it's work okay so it's not working we need to set separately uh, this teacher data teacher data here yes okay and here we will set this set teacher data teacher spelling is wrong right dot teacher and similarly we will do this for chapter data right we can't access directly object so that i'm setting in this state okay so chapter data and this will be a course chapters right and this will be now teacher dot teacher data dot full name okay so here you can see that john doe okay and 
now we need the course videos okay so i will put here one so that we can fetch the courses so can you see that now here we have a, a name of the course and uh, image uh, sorry image i'm saying the description and we can also show the image so here we are uh, this will be the image and the image will be very easily we can see featured image dot url featured image dot url right so okay it is not showing okay we don't need to define this url actually this will return the url okay so here we have a url a name a description and uh, uh, yes we have and now let's uh, fetch the course chapters okay so let's fetch the course chapters so what i will do here i'll just simply map this i'll copy this go to course detail and uh, we have this uh, li so i'll remove all the li i mean the, these are the testing data so i'll remove all the li and just need one okay and here and this will be close okay and now this is chapter data uh, yes this is chapter data we can open this and here we need first of all uh, set this chapter date uh, this is chapter dot title right so let's refresh the page here so it is showing this is chapter okay and we can show here the video url so i'll copy this and paste it here i know maybe this this is not a video because this is just a testing data i'm going to see the model uh, chapter video right this is video and title will be the chapter title okay and here the alt will be the uh, course title course title right so refresh the page so everything is okay now <coughs> in this now we have a few things in this detail we are pending uh, we need to calculate this duration i will calculate the duration of all of the videos okay and total enrolled student this will come later and rating is also come later we need to calculate the duration for single video and as well as the all chapter videos okay and then uh, in the in the next video maybe we can calculate this and uh, this and then in the next video we will see the how we can fetch the related courses this is also very easy okay so in the next video we will uh, do two things the duration counting and the related videos okay and uh, what other things uh, yes then we will start the uh, like enrolling the student registering the students okay so uh, let's do let's do a little bit fast because uh, lots of uh, i think lots of time has been passed and uh, we are doing this project so i will try to do fast and uh, so we can create another project as soon as possible okay so thank you so much for watching this video and please uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video and please support me on a razor pay via paypal and uh, you can follow me on github also okay i'm regularly updating all the courses or uh, uh, i mean all the videos code on the github okay so that you can see that everything okay and uh, yeah so uh, after supporting please send me your email id so that i will give you access to that repository of github so that you can download the code okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you